Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr Dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> What's that smell? Poo-poo. <laughs> uh. <-poo>. Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo-poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <laughs> Oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty. Like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty. That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the smell. Of a clean, fresh George. <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the giants. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy. <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> wee wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, you called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. Trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. 
<laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <coughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> Have a go. Hey! hey. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> hey. Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm, I can't land on the tree. I know, I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow, this is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Mountain climbing. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes. But it's fun, too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. 
We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Peppa is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good! Down you come, George! Well done, George! <laughs> Hello? What about me? How do I get down? Hmm, for you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right back. Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes. I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Pepper. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Wow! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard?
skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes. <laughs> my daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, and realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow, look at him go. My goodness. That was awesome. Unbelievable. My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <sniffs> can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. Daddy, Pepper, and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Mmm, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller Why discos. For me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. <laughs> Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, the Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Pepper. Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello 
again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh, my word! This is my all-time favourite song! Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to Disco <laughs> Town. <laughs> 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 Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Skate on down to the Disco wow. Town. That's incredible! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. I wish I could do that. Me too. And me. All together. Everyone join in. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. Hello, Mummy. Hello again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. <laughs> Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. <laughs> Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods and I was raised by a family of wolves. Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh! It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! Me! Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes. I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy-witsy-ickle sticks. 
use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves! Loads of leaves! Bundles and jumbles of leaves! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now! It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! 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 <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! <laughs> the little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. <laughs> Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Hiya, mummy! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with mummy and daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. Squeak! <laughs> to you, daddy! Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. <laughs> I love spaghetti. <laughs> Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. Rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Mr. 
This rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> wow, that is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. To you, Mummy Pig. To you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's OK, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. OK. Hold it flat and spin. Spin it! To you, George! <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you! To you, Peppa! What? Got you! Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes. I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy. Are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy, but do it right. Oh, <gasps> all the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes, all the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's broken. <laughs> Keep shaking, Daddy. <laughs> Shake harder, Mummy. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. <laughs> I'm trying my best. 
Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! To you, Danny! To you, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Heaps! Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes! Exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Hoopla! Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 I like jumping. Jump, jumping is fun. Very good. And rest. Now we come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow. Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom. Bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Peppa. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! 
<laughs> you clever piggies. Pepper and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> little cars. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! <laughs> You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. <laughs> We are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit. Would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can... Go! go! Wait for us! <laughs> <laughs> now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. Yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. Peppa <laughs> loves little cars. Everyone. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. 
Mickey has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the tart ice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. <laughs> Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a grampy rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on. I'm coming up. Thank goodness. I'm saved. Miss Rabbit is rescued. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at... Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Mummy, can me and George play on the computer? Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. <laughs> Can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! 
first, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. Daddy, Pepper and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need a uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Ooh, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! <gasps> How wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Whippy wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. <laughs> we were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. <laughs> Danny Dog, Pedro Pony <laughs> and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, 
wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> Guinea pigs. Pepper is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so Cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. <coughs> and this is Brian. He is very sensitive. <coughs> now, children, I am going on holiday next week and I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, <coughs> me, me, me. It's a bit of work and you will need to take them home. Me, me. I will do it. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, look what I've got. Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. <coughs> I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. OK. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. 
shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Ah. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. <laughs> yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Daddy Pig here. Hello. This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Pepper and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <coughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Oh, uh... yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. The sea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday. Party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are and it's tomorrow. Oh. I see. OK. Keep calm. Don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hello, Penny! Hi, Peppa! Grr, grr, grr. This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to our undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank 
Pinch, here he is. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. <laughs> is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit! The first clue is... I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! Here's <laughs> a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. Okay, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home? But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh! It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain and it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr. Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff. And I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go! <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. 
Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks, teeny sticks, itsy bitsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves! Loads of leaves! Bundles and jumbles of leaves! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now! It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! me, me. Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion, you startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood. Full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. 
One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone. <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh, no. Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <coughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! <coughs> Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <coughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> Ah, yes, that was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! <laughs> What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way! The seaside! Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the life! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello. Hello! Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig! I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh! If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye! Bye! Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this. Wow! The 
motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Peppa. <coughs> We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all. <coughs> because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Danny's pirate bedroom. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. Hello. Hello, Danny. Peppa, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Peppa. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um, on TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, what a surprise. But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me! Me! Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where should we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha ha! Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, -ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. 
<laughs> we are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. It is a lovely sunny day at Pepper's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh dear, please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye... It is a wink, and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes, it was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And Monkey has a cough. <coughs> oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, Monkey has a bad cough. Dr George... What cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Peggy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed. <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. That is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <laughs> <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, jump up and down... And quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Oh, oh, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh. 
Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes, it means we're going to America! America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Hash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes! Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang right, and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But 
But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star. George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <sighs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera. Action. Attention. The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots. Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day, too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, OK. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit. We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye. Bye! Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Pepper has had a wonderful time in America. Pepper and George are camping at the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. I love camping in your tent. Oh, we love it too. Over the years, we've camped in the mountains, in the jungle, We've even camped on an iceberg. Ooh. We can camp anywhere with all the comforts of home. <coughs> and just like at home, the naughty birds try to eat my raspberries. <coughs> you naughty seagulls. Shoo! Shoo! Can we go to the sea now? Yes, let's go and have fun. I'll stay here and guard my raspberries. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to play by the seashore. Watch out for the wave, George. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, look what George has found. It's some old rope. It's sea treasure. 
Another wave, George! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Shells! More sea treasure! Hooray! <laughs> Watch out for the wave! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor Granny, you've got your feet wet. <laughs> yes. Oh, plastic bottles. They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Peppa. Ooh. What does it say, Granny? It says, hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a big Reggie Rabbit. That's me. Oh. So where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me. A, a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grampy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh! We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore, do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grampy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Yes. Thank you, Grampy Rabbit. Bye-bye. Ah, ah. The cheeky seagulls are eating Grandpa's raspberries. <gasps> Shoo! Shoo! Grandpa, Grandpa, look what we found on the beach. <laughs> it's sea treasure. So it is. Well done. <coughs> oh, if only I had something to scare these birds away. Let's make something with the sea treasure. What a good idea, Granny Pig. We can use this rope to string all these bits and bobs together. Granny Pig has made a thing to keep the birds away. Hooray! And now it's home time. Helmets and goggles, children. Yes, Granny! <laughs> All aboard and off we go! Bye-bye, Seaside! <laughs> Grandma's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Grandpa's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes. That's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No. I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Peppa. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. 
Now it's George's turn. <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goos as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Pepper. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Pepper. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. Her and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground. Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Ah, uh, excuse me, Mr. Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft. Hard! Moo! And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Hooray! Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. 
and a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> This is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous, yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The fridge. wild animals are yes, outside. Yes, yes. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh. I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK. I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You give me a shock. <laughs> Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal, like a tiger. Ooh, I can sound like a tiger. <coughs> Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That 
That's really good. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. <laughs> it is Mr Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh. Oh. We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... <laughs> It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. 